So, how exactly do you get requests for an assassin? I have to wonder. I guess it's time for us to find out, then. This request came to me, oh, about a week ago. It was a request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. That's what occurred. I trust my memory, and I believe I've made no mistakes. I would hope so. Anyway, welcome back, right to the finale of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. This is your host, BMJ406. Hmm, so you basically met your client, huh? That's correct. Meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. Oh, see, uh, well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. And, well, we're trying to buy time to hope for the killer's items to get here, so that way we can hopefully find a way to re both rescue Maya and get Man on Guard declared guilty. We can only hope, but well, we'll see what happens. Now let's try to go through his testimony of saying, um, how he met with Miss Andrews personally. One week ago? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. I, of course, had my own preparations, and I was barely able to finish. When you request my services, Mr. Attorney, I hope you'll keep that in mind. Please, stop. In any case, my client this time had a very specific date and time in mind. A specific date and time? Huh. For the night of the awards ceremony, I met a certain bar. That's the one I really want to look at. So you physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Of course I did. Huh. What was that? Just a brief pause. I had to go a little further. Witness, I would like for you to give us a few more details. I always meet my clients as a matter of principle. I never take a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? That's because I value the trust between a client and myself above all else. And the only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking at them in the eye. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, was telephone just now of any importance? Yes, I believe it was. So, of course it was very important, Your Honor. If Mr. McKillar had met his client before the murder, then it's unlikely he is mistaken. So you're saying that his client was really was Adrian Andrews? Uh, um, I guess so. You see, it's just as I said. <sighs> I'm so lost. Who the heck am I supposed to be helping here? Calm down, Phoenix. Think carefully and relax. Now then, will the witness please continue? Hmm. Actually, Hold it. let me try the other option. Because, well, pressing him might be a little weird. Maybe I'll just let it go. It's probably just my imagination. I need to find something more definitive to catch the guy on. Can we believe that your testimony up to this point is pretty reliable? Okay, never mind. Hold it. Let me keep looking into it, why not? So your client was Adrian Andrews? That is correct. Well, he says the two of them met. But if they did, then there shouldn't be anything wrong with the killer's testimony. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything strange this time around. You have to draw more information from him, but you can't draw a suspicion. If you can do that, you should be able to find a flaw in his testimony somewhere. Talk about delicate balance. You gotta be very careful and not push him the wrong way, though. Hold it. Let me ask about the award ceremony stuff, just to be sure. Did you ask why on that specific night? No. I tried to fulfill all the conditions of my client's request. But after why, I only had my suspicions. Hmm, your suspicions? I wonder about that. So what are these suspicions you had? Why did your client what did your client request that night? I'm sure it was all for the bear. Wait, the bear? My client spoke of it. I'm sure there will be a bear-shaped figurine in Juan Corda's room. I would like you to retrieve this item for me. Hmm, so he must be talking about the bear puzzle. Inside the figurine was a suicide note. Naturally, the victim brought it with him to his hotel room. He was planning to publicly disclose its contents at the press conference after all. That's correct. If I had not done the job that night. I would not have known where that bear figurine was. Hmm, I see. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony just now of any importance? I mean, I guess. The testimony just now has made one thing clear, and that is... The client knew the secret of the bear figurine! Huh. Why is everyone so quiet? Mr. Wright, I think all of us already knew that. Uh oh really? Witness, what do you do with your testimony? Son of a bitch. Oh, hang on! I got an idea. Sometimes it's gotta be a little bit of a tricky diggy with this. Let me press it further. And now let me say it's not important. Let's see what happens now. 
Why he meets his clients is not important, and that wasn't the point. Witness, please stop sidestepping my questions. Well, what do you mean by that? My question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I've already told you, Mr. Wright, I did. It was only through talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. That's what I thought. I can't trust this. I can trust this person as a client. Hmm. It's true they say about talking face to face. Well, Mr. Wright, was that just what you saw of any importance? Ha ha! They fake you with one piece where you want another. Heard what I think I heard just now. And I think I've got him. Your Honor, I believe the testimony just now was of the utmost importance. Oh, really? If that's the case, witness, please include the statement just now in your testimony. Very well. There we go. The moment I saw him, I th the moment I saw him, I thought I could trust this person as a client. That's the funny thing. I know you think that the name Adrian is for a man, but it works both ways. I want to go over this one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at a bar and took the request at that time? Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy. How many times must I repeat myself? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but well, that's an impossible tale. Whoa, what? Silly to kill her. Well, you have never met the real Adrian Andrews. Huh? But why would you say that? Because you made one very big slip up about her. So what is the issue? Huh? What, what did you say just now? About her? If you had ever met Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you that she is a woman! Uh oh! Ah. How did the radio break? Order! Order the court! Mr. White, what is the meaning of this? His witness has provided to the following, that he always meets face-to-face -face with his clients when taking the request. But he has never met Adrian Andrews in person! Yes, Your Honor, that is exactly the point. That means Mr. DeKiller's client could not have been Miss Adrian Andrews. Ah. Well, we're posting our luck here. Mr. Edgeworth, I understand your logic on this one, however, why would the assassin make such a basic mistake? I believe it has to do with her name, Your Honor. Her name? Yes, Adrian Andrews is without doubt a very androgynous name. Hmm, yes, I see. Unluckily for Mr. DeKiller, the entire time he was on the stand, no one had stated Adrian Andrews' gender. And so he simply picked the wrong gender to go with. What? What is going on? Oh, boy. We're posting our luck here. Shelly to kill her! The court demands an explanation! Um, uh, I think somehow I must have mixed it up this client with another. So does that mean you remember something different now? Yes, of course. Please, if you would allow me to testify once more. Oh, I know he's just going to spit out more lies! Very well, but this time please give us the truth and nothing but the truth! So help you! So help us to death! To death? No, don't take it personally! Yes, now I remember. I told the request by mail. There have been times when I took a job without having met my client. The request was for the murder of one Corda and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at the end of the letter, I thought my client to be a man. Ah, okay, that actually sounds right. Hmm, so he took his job through a letter. He didn't mention anything about a letter in his earlier testimony. Which means he's definitely lying. Be careful, Phoenix. If you break these assets testimony completely, it's over for us. I know, I can't make him suspicious, but I think we're okay. Like, we can do this. As long as he's standing there across from me, no matter how strong of a punch I throw, he'll counter it. Hey, look, a penny. No, Edgeworth, come back! No, the let's forget the cross-examination! Edgeworth, ignore the penny, come back! Oh, it's only a nickel. Damn it. That's better, though! Eh, whatever. What am I talking about? I think the request by mail, though. I mean, I guess it could be tough. That could be traced, though, couldn't it? But didn't you just say that you always meet your clients? Yes, I suppose I did say that. However, there are some clients for whom a meeting is simply not possible. But didn't you meet your client this time? No, I did not. Oh, uh, come now. Let's stop this game of cat and mouse. Using your silkiest voice is not going to work on me. Oh, fine. All right, then. Just carve it up and confess. Mr. Wright, you can't badger witness with such harsh words! Um, you're a lawyer, so behave like one present evidence instead of mindlessly yelling! Now then, do you have any proof that Mr. DeKiller met with his client? Mm. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I don't have any proof. Hmm, I see. Then your line of questioning was just another waste of time. 
Sadly for us, Your Honor, that is the nature of right and wrong. Damn it! Don't be a dick, Edgeworth! Hold it! That's real unfortunate I got that one wrong, damn it. And why could you not meet with certain clients? Recently, I've been receiving more requests. If I met each and every client, I would lose some nice business opportunities. Nice business opportunities? On top of which, the times have changed. It's now the age of information and computers, correct? Well, I have joined the times, and now take requests via electronic mail. Electronic mail? You have to mail that to a special insulated envelope? Ah, I'm very sorry. I despise the shortening of words. What I meant by electronic mail is what is commonly referred to as email. Email? In a contest of mimicry, the judge would beat a parrot, hands down. <clears throat> anyway, so you took this job without having met your client, and... Hmm... Two or three other small things. That's what I'm curious about right now. Two or three other things? Yes. And what were these other things? The real other things that have nothing to do with this case. Hmm... Should I let him slide with that? That'd be really bad if I pushed his buttons the wrong way and he got mad. Well, whether or not they're related to this case is for the court to decide. Mr. Attorney. Y yes Everything I've said from the beginning has been nothing but beneficial to your client, which is why I wonder what is pushing you to continue with this cross-examination. Uh-oh. Could it be that you are planning to betray your own client? Oh, God, that's... I smell the stench of a backstabber. And should you turn out to be one? Oh, wait, wait! Uh-oh. Looking really bad. I should press my luck. Alright, I have to think. Is this worth pursuing? I'm a gambling man! Witness, this is a very important matter. Please cooperate and tell us what these other jobs your client requested were. If it's truly really that important, I suppose I don't have much of a choice. The bear figurine. Oh, thank God. The bear figurine? After the assassination of Target, I was to find that figurine. I was told that this job was just as important as the actual killing. Huh. And where was that figurine? It was inside Mr. Corda's suitcase. And then, what did you do next? I handed it over to my client right away. Hmm, you gave it to your client. Interesting. Hmm, this information certainly sounds important to me. Well, it's basically what you just stated your testimony. As you wish. One of the one of these was to find the bear figure and give it to Adrian Andrews. Haha, <laughs> there we go. I found this figurine in Mr. Guard's mansion. Who gave it to Miss Andrews and what was it doing there? I was waiting for her there. That was also part of the plan to frame Mr. Guard, I'm for sure. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Well, Mr. Mike, do you have any problems with this piece of testimony? I mean the testimony in particular? I don't know. She wouldn't know about it and how to open it, so... Would she really know how to get there, though? I mean... Mm, it's no use. As long as I can't put my finger on the central problem here, pressing this witness anymore would be extremely dangerous. Hmm, it appears Mr. Wright has no problems. Well then, witness, please continue. Probably double check, make sure I'm not missing something. So you're saying you never saw your client's face? Not even once? I did, once. It was when I went to give my client to this figurine. Hmm, yes, I see. So you say. But Miss Andrews is wearing a mask at the time. A mask? A nickel samurai mask, I'm guessing. Mr. Wright, what do you have to say about this? Do you have any problems with this piece of testimony? Hmm, that means he wouldn't have seen the face at all. I think those sort of stick out on me, Your Honor. Witness, I think you most definitely saw your client's face. Let's recall Mr. Powers' testimony. I was in the wardrobe when I went by myself to Matt's room. I was standing there in front of his room, still in his nickel samurai costume. Matt gave the bowboy a tip. Oh, God! He received quite a large roll of cash from Mr. Ron's guard! And at that time, he was not wearing his nickel samurai mask! Oh, -hoo. Oh god, what have I done? Oh shit. Order, order, yes, now you mentioned it, I do remember that. Witness! Yes, that night I did wander the floor as a bellboy. I see plenty of tips that night for carrying juice to the various rooms. Is that so wrong? Huh? The man who gave me that tip was not my client. Yeah. 
He was probably just a very generous person. Oh, come on! I'm sorry, but sadly we are not nearly so generous here. If I could receive large rolls of cash by simply bringing people things on trays, then why on earth would I stand around here prosecuting? Ah, oh, the deja vu. And isn't his salary more than enough for one man? Hmm. The Walter evidence that the large roll of cash was not in fact a tip. Come, Mr. Edgeworth, show me the money. What? Mr. Attorney. Uh, yes? No, I think your line of questioning has been a little strange. In fact, I would say you don't seem to believe Miss Andrews is my client. Oh, oh, no, no, it's not like that at all. I just think lies aren't a good thing, you know? Oh, I know you, I know and agree. Lies are not a good thing at all. Er, I think we are on the same page now, aren't we, Mr. Attorney? Remember, if I feel threatened in any way, I am free to cut contact at any time. Oh, God, I'm sorry! Please forgive my foolishness! Hmm, it's only a little apologetic all the time. Anyway, I do not see a huge contradiction here. Therefore, you may continue with us. We pretty much reached the end of our rope here. Huh? Seems like we're still okay to me. And that's exactly what is so bad. With the great work going, we'll, we will end up completely destroying the killer's life. If we do that, you already know how serious of a situation that will put us in. Oh, yeah. All I can do now is pray that those items reach us in time. Son of a bitch! Find the bear figure and give it to Adrian Andrews. Like you saw the bear? Objection! Okay, good. Yes. All right, good. Whew. Shelly the killer. If you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside it. This item? I see where you're going. Yep. That's where I'm going. Where's everyone going? Do we need to park a suitcase? Stop it. We're not traveling, Judge. Your Honor, please take back to Miss Andrews' testimony. And I was going to burn it for her sake. If even for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands, I'm sure she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it! Yeah, she definitely would have if she actually got a hold of it. Order! 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 So that's where you two were going! So by the very fact that the suicide note is still inside the bear, it tells that your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. Which means... It means, Your Honor, that this is impossible for Andrew Andrews to be the client. Oh ho! Oh! Damn, yeah, losing track of who's who now. Oh, order! 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 Oh, uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh oh. I. I'm sure I mentioned this before. How I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross examination has clearly demonstrated something to me. You. You must wish to break your end of our agreement. Wait, no! That's not... That's enough! If that is your attention, there is only one thing for me to do. No, please! Wait! Please! Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. I have a matter that I must attend to. No! Don't! For the love of God, don't! No! Please, not that. Please wait! Mr. Attorney, bring this trial to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand, otherwise... What the... Mr. Wright? Are you... You have no idea what I'm going through, Judge. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. I didn't notice how this witness is outburst just now. Do you think there's a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. If we keep this up, my... Seal... Uh. Uh, the prosecution? I... Well, let's go over, everyone! Even your... Prosecution... rests. What is going on around here? The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. What? What? Wow, this trial is going everywhere! What the hell, man? Well, I never thought I'd see the day! This is a most unusual situation! Did the prosecution rest with no further questions? Then, the, the prosecution has failed to uphold its stance! If that is the case, then, even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate! That would mean that Joey DeKiller's client is... Adrian Andrews! Shit! Ugh. Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor? If I end the trial here, right now, then your client, man on guard, would be declared innocent! And his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. Miss Andrews would be charged with murder. Shit. 
Bailiff's first case has no other questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remarks. Bailiff, please present the defendant. Bring the defendant Metal Guard to the stand. The eyes where the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. We tried as hard as we could, but it looks like our time has run out. I can't believe it. The outcome now lies in your hands. God, don't put the pressure on me like this! Dude, did the old guy finally decide? To be honest, I can't think of you as a truly innocent and good person. You have done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. But, at least on the chance of murder, it would appear you are innocent. Huh. Oh, really? Oh, well, so much you're refreshing like Spring Breeze, Persona. So, I guess even the old funny duddy figured me out. But, Mr. Ogard? What an actress lawyer I have. Giving his own client up like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap. It's just as atrocious, don't you agree? Uh, anyway, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Damn it! Nah! Should I side with justice? Or should I save Maya's life? No! You better get a kind of guilty sentence, okay? But. But if I did that, Maya will die! But if I say he's innocent, then Miss Andrews will be charged as a murderer. Do I say he's guilty or not guilty? Either choice I make, someone's life is going to end. No! It all hinges on what I choose. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on the matter. Mm, if the person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews, then your client, Mr. Madden Card, is innocent. <laughs> There's no need to ask, old man. After all, my lawyer is going to say what I want. Aren't you? Right. I can't. I can't do this! But I had to decide something. I can't count the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. No, the court record went away. My client, Mount Guard, is... Mm -hmm. I have to go with my gun on this. Do I save Maya or save Adrian Andrews? Ah! Fuck it! I'm sorry, Maya. I have to. It's my greater conscience to make sure that justice is served properly. Well, I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright! But oh god, your client deserves an answer! Mm. Maya, I'm sorry. <sighs> Man on guard is what? <gasps> Francesca! She came! F Francesca von Karma! My new hero! My heroine! W what are you doing here? Ow! Oh! You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off of that scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The final pieces? Do you have them? You should know better than to ask that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Avon Karma is perfect in every way. The evidence is here in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine. His injuries are minor. All the items are inside this. What a filthy old coat is this? That's gum shoes. Hmm, I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for its ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap the items in. I see. So, I fought long and hard this whole trial. All for what is inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? Oh, man. So we've come this far. We must see it to the end. This trial is already over. All the major three hands on my verdict. I do not believe that any evidence presented now. Really? Will change the outcome of this trial. What? Come on, Judge! Don't be a dick! Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Mr. Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Ooh, I suppose you are right, Mr. Edgeworth. The right person to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will be not be accepted by this court. Shit! Now, Mr. Von Karma, if you please? These pieces of evidence are left are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Must have been quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there will be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle. 
I'm sure of it! That's all we can hope for. Yes, we have to hope. The first item is a pistol. Hmm. Does the color's pistol have anything to do with this case? Hmm. Yeah, let's keep asking, why not? Does that pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything with certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case. At least with me. Ah, I think I get it. That's the pistol they use to shoot you, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh! I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. Well, at least I'm like freaking your dad, you would actually get a bullet removed from your shoulder after getting shot. I'm sure it'll be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Francisca. It's probably not going to help us very much. Probably not, but it's nice to have anyway. The second piece of evidence is this videotape. Huh, I bet the killer took that from a guard mansion. That's probably important. Have you checked the contents of the tape? Unfortunately, there is no time to. Oh, yeah. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. The, the killer went back for it? That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers at the site. Hmm. But somehow, it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly, the killer is no ordinary man. I mean, I would figure he's an assassin. He's got some really good skills. The last piece of evidence is this bellboy's uniform. Oh, okay. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? I mean, I'm guessing this is what he wore. Was that used during the crime? I am almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There's one thing I found interesting about this uniform. What is that? There's a button missing on this uniform. Huh. Weird. A button? It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. Hmm. A missing button, huh? That is interesting. That's all I'd like to present, Your Honor. Hmm. It's just as I thought. And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we were, we were under no circumstances. These odds for showing the killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, oh, the question is not who did the killing. It is who is the client. Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us anything about that. Are you sure? Thank you for your hard work, Miss Squad Karma. You may step down now. Wait, hold the fuck on. Wait, Your Honor. Please, allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. The court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant mind, isn't he? Is this the end? Phoenix. I know it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make that miracle happen. You've come this far. You can't give up now. But, but, no matter how you think about it, it's, it's... Try. For my sake, just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of this situation for us. Th two? The first. Hmm. They can guard wish from the bottom of his soul for a guilty verdict. Huh? The killer will always place his client's wishes first. He will guard himself wishes to be convicted, and he will let his hostage go. But that may be true, but... That's asking me to do the impossible! The second way... Hmm. Force the killer to end his contract with Unguard. If the killer were no, were no longer think of Unguard as his client, then he would let Maya go. Mia! That's even more impossible! He's a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else! Are you sure it's a good idea? I know both of these seem impo like impossible feats at first, but if you can make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The piece that he was just shown, he's not accepting them! Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what has always worked for us? Wait, what? The other side? Wait, does she mean outside the box? To turn things around, you mean? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, then who does need it? Huh, the person who needs the evidence? Who could that be? The defense, prosecution of the judge. We have seen all the pieces of evidence. And that is how we have come to know the truth. But there is one person who is yet to see them all. And that person does not know the truth. Hmm. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. You think? 
Nope! There are no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict! You know what I have to say? Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? Objection! Fuck that! That's right! Oh, come on! I've already told you, Mr. Wright! This court does not need any more evidence! That's what you think, Judge! I'm not saying it is us that needs the evidence, Your Honor! Huh? So, you want to show the evidence to that person? Yes! Yes, Your Honor, I do! Come on! Please, Your Honor! Mr. Wright, for you to ask with such passion, I will grant you one chance! One chance? Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person! That's impossible to turn the situation around in one try. Nope! One try! That is all I will permit! You are one stingy judge! I have to try to remember everything that has happened to up to this point. Think, Phoenix, think! There must be a way to save Maya while taking a guard down at the same time! Now then, Mr. Wright, let's not waste any more time! Oh boy! Let's see! Who would you like to show the evidence to? Um. How about the butler? I see! And now, those call one piece of evidence you would like to show this person! Um. I mean. Show him the bellboy's uniform, why not? Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, um, I don't have anything to say to this. Hmm, how about you, Miss Ford Karma? Well, I was just shot, so... Oh, you idiot. Oh, I'm I cannot allow the defense to continue. What? Oh, shit. No one understands what you're talking about anymore. Well, wait, please, one more chance. Nope. That is enough, Mr. White. I will now stay my verdict. The score mode is in Reddit, Master on Battle Guard. Not guilty! Yay! Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh, shit! What have I done? What have I done? And just like that, the case came to an end. I ran away from the courtroom and wandered the streets alone. Jesus Christ! I never saw Maya again. The killer is a man of his word. So I'm sure he released her as promised. I heard the verdict of Miss Andrews' trial a few days later. She was found guilty, of course. Jesus. So depressing. The miracle never happened. Maybe it was never meant to. Because a miracle is something that doesn't exist. That's just depressing, dude. The end? What? You think I'm gonna just take his ending lying down? Are you kidding me? Objection. Fuck that! I'm not selling for that bullshit ending! We're trying this again! Are you kidding me? I've already told you, Mr. Wright! Scores not need any more evidence! You're right about that! I'm not saying it's not easy evidence, Your Honor! Wait, what? Then you want to show the evidence to that person? Exactly! Yes, Your Honor! Mm. Come on! Please, Your Honor! Mr. Wright, for you to ask such person, I will grant you one chance! Just one chance again? Please show your evidence to who you think is the right Objection. person! What? That's impossible! Is there a situation around in one try? Uh-oh! -uh, one try! That is all I will permit! You are a dick, Judge! I have to try to remember... Everything that has happened up to this point! Think, Phoenix! Think! There must be a way to save my while taking on guard down at the same time! Now then, Mr. Wright, let's go waste any more time! Alright then, I'm ready for you this time! Who would you like to show the evidence to? In case you're wondering what I just did back there, I was showing you what happens when you pick the wrong evidence in person to show for you to get the bad ending. That's right, this case actually is a bad ending if you do this part wrong, or the part immediately after. However, what you want to pick are Shelly the Killer himself, for the person, or Sue! Oh no! Those call one piece of evidence you would like to show this person! Because, remember, one of the conditions to end Shelly the Killer's contract with Man on Guard. And well, remember how Man on Guard recorded the whole scene of the murder? Take that! I think they might disagree with Shelly the Killer. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, um, uh, I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to that witness. 
All right. Bring it up! Where's bringing the Dread Saber from earlier? All right! Looks like I managed to convince him! So yeah, if you pick those two, you get one extra thing that you should definitely want to do. Maya, she's okay, right? Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speed, speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence? That's correct! One is all I need. I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. Yeah. I heard you answered three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was the most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. Hmm, I thought so. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Do you know the contents of this tape? I was sternly told by my client to not watch it, so I have absolutely no idea. You poor, poor fool. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? Mm-hmm. There was a video camera hidden at the crime scene. In a bear. Your actions were being recorded. What? Is that true, Mr. Wright? Who? Who was it that planted a camera? Well, the only person who could have placed a camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. That was Edward Andrews. Be quiet and listen, Your Honor. No, sir. Your client specified a time and place for you. Isn't that right? Y yes. That was so they could film you. I had no idea. <coughs> Neither did I, dude. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? Hmm? I would like to know why. Be careful here. Your evidence could backfire if you get this part wrong. Why did Man on Guard film the crime scene? The reason why he did that is by taking out of this whole mess. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. They? Be careful with what you pick here. If you pick the wrong choice, you will get that bad ending anyway. So, just make sure you get get it right the first time. Just remember one of the conversations you had. It's blackmail. Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you, and this is what they said. Yeah, when you first revealed his evil persona. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all, assassins. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. Yes, that's where the video comes in. With that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. Uh-huh. Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. And well, what do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? Oh. That's right. What do you think of that, huh? It looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by a natural, that is the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots of how to use the people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us one numerous times, one thing numerous times during your testimony, is that you detest traitors most of all. Yes, that's right. But what if the traitor was your own client? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. And then, that client would become my next target. For the honor of the killer name, even if it takes an eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. Ha 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 ha! Well, looks like we might have gotten both to work. Nice! I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. That makes a lot of sense. I had a feeling that would be it. Ah, uh, I get it. This is how we'll turn this case around. Mr. Wright. Y yes My contract with my client is over. As of now, I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you, your precious item. What the? I'm not an item? <laughs> you may as well be. Maya, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness! So, we managed to turn us around somehow. Um, this call appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I, uh, actually, I'm sort of, uh, 
I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness. I'm... Whoa! That's one combo! What was that? Sorry, that was me. I really wanted to do that just once. <laughs> she always has you in her sights. Now, I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. That it is. Oh, yeah! Look at him sweating! Bullets! Mr. On Guard? It looks like somehow you got what you wanted! You will finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly! You should be happy! But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in your future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. <gasps> Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. <laughs> Help me! Now then, Your Honor, the verdict, if you please. Oh, uh, is this all right with you, Mr. Wright? Well, we have finally reached the end of a very long battle. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there is no escape for him now. Go on, Phoenix. Lead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief! All right, well, I am a defense attorney, so... Congratulations, Mr. Man on Guard! Please make sure to savor every moment of what little time you have left. Your Honor, as always, the defense pleads not guilty! Very well! This court finds the defendant, Battle Guard! Ah! Who's out for a set now? But please wait! What's the matter? If, if I get uh, not guilty, I'll. I'll be killed! Huh? I. I'm. I'm. Yes? No! Guilty, 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 guilty! All right then. That solves that case. I guess he's guilty. As always, it looks like we have uncovered the real truth. What the fuck has been happening? We? I don't remember you helping out much in this. You took my credit that one time. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? I have a strong carman charge with incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whip leather right about now. Very good. That was a close one, wasn't it, witness? Yes. I plan to pay my debt to society for my own crime, Your Honor. The first time I was called to the witness stand during this trial, all I felt was despair. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. Maybe she's trying to forgive him for what he did. Oh, yeah. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is no, no concern to me. I forgot, he was a real asshole then. But after that, when I was alone in the detention center, that's the first time I really saw myself for who I am. And today, when the two of you used your combined strength to convict Matt, I, I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm really happy that you two are in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. This is this is the first time I felt comfortable with myself, with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. Aw, oh, well, isn't that sweet? Good for you, Miss Andrews. Well, looks like we've resolved everything at last. As for myself, there are so few things I'm confused about. But fuck it, I won't say if we have good spirits. And that's good enough for me! I don't care what's right or wrong anymore! That is all! This court is adjourned! Oh, before that, I'm... You didn't even give the verdict! Oh, I guess he's guilty, though. <laughs> he gave his own verdict. I guess that works out for me. Good! He didn't have to declare, so I didn't lose! Ha-ha! <laughs> you were great out there, Phoenix. What I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. You got them a guilty verdict this time, but... You have to look past all of that to what's really important. You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yes, I understand now. That must be what Edward discovered back the past year. Phoenix, think back for a second. Think to the moments before Ms. Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Yeah, remember they got rid of my court record? Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. Mmm. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice? Or should I save Maya's life? My client, Matt on guard, is. 
Honestly, it doesn't matter what you pick there, because... Is he guilty, or is he not guilty? Those are your choices, then. And your answer... Your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. God damn it, you and your philosophy! Oh, come on! Why do you have to make me think about that? Come on! What a nice with a different ending. Right. Whoa, Edgeworth. I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Wait, really? Whoa, Pearls. Tell us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Y yes, she is quite safe. She is on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. Ah, oh, missing Maya! Missing Maya's safe! You did it! You really did it, Mr. Nick! Ow! She punches us simply hard for a kid! Ow, she punched me for doing well! What the hell? I, I believed in you! I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her! Mr. Nick will save her! What? Uh, um, thanks! Oh! What, what's wrong? Miss Van Karma? What? Why are you here? Um, about earlier, uh, thanks? Ow! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You, you lost! Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you are still happy? I mean, I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you! Don't worry. She may in time. After all, I was like that myself until a year ago. Eh, Edgeworth. Really? For my own personal victories. And for guilty verdicts. See? I'm now become as far as Hedgeworth. I'm the best! I used every dirty trick in the book, and so my win record remained spotless. But... A man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. And I fought him in my usual manner, and tasted my first defeat. That's right, because I'm better than you! I felt like I had lost everything because of that. Mm-hmm. And then... He decided to... Oh yeah, then that happened. It was my turn... It was my turn to send the defendant's chair. That's right, you got served humble pie. And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened. So I left the prosecutor's office. Understandably. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. <laughs> as well as you should have. A prosecutor ashamed of himself of defeat should crawl to a hole and die. But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What, what foolish nonsense! We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant, but every time we did so... Objection. The defense! No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. God damn it, I get stupid for it too! And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. What? What? You trusted your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses, the truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one, it's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch, but we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This I promise you. The truth? Yes, that's the reason why prosecutors and defense attorneys exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? Hmm. That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away into the night. Ah! Oh, it's Mr. Edgeworth, big Mr. Nick! I mean, basically. You really let me down. When he disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in those things you said to me. Back then, all those years ago. And you, you betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, I made up my mind. I made up my mind that I decided the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. I wanted to believe it. You pathetic fool. But Miss Von Karma. I don't want to hear the wretched whippering of a disgraced loser. A Von Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being a bot karma! And neither am I. Whoa. It's over. It's all over! Wow! Francisco threw something on the ground just now. What a temper tantrum. This is an electromagnetic receiver. Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gongshu? I'll, re I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. What? Oh! Isn't that Miss Van Karma's whip? Yep. 
I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. Huh. You should keep this, right? But why me? Um, okay. Nick! <gasps> M Maya? M Maya! Miss like Maya! Miss like Maya! We're finally reunited! Finally, she's safe, thank God! Oh, poor Maya! All the trauma we've had to go through for this awful man. Oh, Nick, I knew you would come through! You got in guard convicted like I knew you would! And on top of that, you even rescued me! Well, of course I did! You know I would never desert you! We sure pressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here! Whatever, whatever! Look, well, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I'll just come back and haunt you like a fat ghost through Pearly! God damn it! Is it really that easy to do something like that? Yes, it is. They are spirit channelers, Phoenix! Thanks a lot, Nick. Um, don't mention it. Maya? Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, uh, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you were starving, weren't you? Alright! I think it's time we got out of this to pet the present place! Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick! Food! Grub! Chow! I'm starved! I'm so hungry even you look like a nice, juicy burger on a bun to me, Nick! You think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, at least! Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please! Uh, um, if you insist. Alright, so how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't, don't be silly, Nick! Oh, god damn it! How'd you know I was gonna say that you said it for me? Huh? This case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food! So I decided we have to make it up by having another feast! Uh, another feast? Come on, Nick! Food! I should have figured this was coming. Well, I guess we may as well enjoy ourselves. We earned this victory after all. We somehow pulled off that goddamn miracle. Hey, pal! Sorry to keep you guys waiting! Gumshoe! Are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole of all things. Wow. A telephone pole? Then it wasn't a red light that got him. Y'all did it again, city boy. I feel like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. No, yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of the Steel Samurai. Uh, th thanks. Now look at here, Mr. Suni Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Rat too hard? If you don't stop being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it tonight, even. Um, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Come on, Lana. Well, come on now. Everyone, gather around. Y'all are gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lana brought herself a new camera. Well, that's fair. Well, Val, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal! Amen to that, pal! Amen! Yeah, I guess we may as well. You know, what do you think about it? You're the one who saved the day, detective. Huh? Me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Oh, well, you know, it's, uh... <laughs> huh? Wait. That's odd. When I ran off of the things from the, the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, the sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. Ah, uh, there was a fourth item? Ah, oh, come on, y'all. It's over. Yeah, we don't need to worry about it. Let's not think about it. But, whoa, oh boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, no more down on with you, huh? <laughs> you think? Why does she look so happy about that? The bean shot away for two whole days. Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see Mr. Maya's picture. Hmm, you know, I don't know where it went. You lost it? Oh, that's too bad. Well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyway. Ah, <sighs> it sure is nice to finally see them both smiling again. And I see everybody happy. What the hell? That's the. Oh, that was Trudge Coat. Hmm. What is it, Edgeworth? 
This thing is picking something up. Oh, that's, that's a Mr. Montgomery's receiver! Uh, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir! I can't believe she stuck a dragon device on me! Now you know, huh? That's odd. You know you're standing right here. The dragon device seems to be in a different location. Oh, uh, it's probably busted or something, sir. I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? Mr. Edward, you haven't even eaten anything yet! And you mean way too much, you glutton! I had fun tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, bye, Edgeworth. Wait! What? Well, I just want to say thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. Hmm. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel? Hmm. I wonder. I mean... I do have this. There's certain nostalgia to this whip, I guess. I mean, there was her, too. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you, too. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Yeah, I guess that's true. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mr. Fire! Hmm? Yes, Burly? I guess you two go back to being lovey dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean. But Burly! Would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me! Um, anyway, uh, so who's playing with this lovey dinner party? As if you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to Nick! Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So I gotta already put your name on the bill. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel, see? And I just bought myself this cool beauty right here, see? It'd be very, better be anyhow for three, three hundred, three thousand dollars. Huh? 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 What are you saying? Actually, I'm gonna get bought it for me since it's on your tab after all. Huh? Huh? What? 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 Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, oh, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal. Time to let it all out. This is going to be the first time I hear the real you. Go on. It's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage and all. Mm, all right, then. If you say so. Fuck you, people. Objection. Ah, oh, fuck it. Objection! Fuck off! That's right, you can shout objection. I forgot about that. <laughs> I tried to tap it, it didn't work. Alright, there we go! And you like that? Maya's been saved, and well, the case has been won? Question mark? It really came through for me, Nick. I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like a pro! Oh, God. No, it doesn't mean you're going to be try be like an escape artist or something. But yep, we've rescued Maya and got that Mert, that uh assassin to see his client as well, a true dick. I'm so happy you can save us like Maya, Mr. Nick. I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of which, I think it's hotel is a proper place for honeymooners. Oh, don't get any ideas. What's up? And where's the basis for the two of you, just in case? Pearl, no! Stop with your shipping fantasies! They don't always work that way! You can't always have your showmances work the way you want them to! God damn it, you really like the idea of relationships, don't you? Well, Val, it looks like I'm back on the force again! Mr. Retro had a long time with the Chief, he got me reinstated for my sake! I heard he said things like, letting that one go is bad for all of society. I knew it! Crouching it along into everything is the only way to live, pal! Yeah, truly. <laughs> your reckless behavior did end up getting us the well, Kelsey Burke, we all needed, and it helped us get Maya free as well. What a lucky break we had. Oh, yeah, Maggie Bird, I'm coming you. Hi, Maggie Bird, and retiring this uniform as of today, sir. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. Oh, dear. And bring smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant, sir. I hope you'll stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Hmm, I'll think about that. And while you get to hear how everybody throughout these games have been doing, at least all the people that are, you know, not the killers or dead. So, you know, at least nobody guilty, Barry. Hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient? Hmm, I'm the Dr. Hottie. Ho, <laughs> ho. Recently, huh? Yes. That girl, you know, I haven't seen her around. Hmm, yes. 
But I remember, if I even laid so much as an eye on her, it would go crack! Hmm. It didn't matter if I got ripped, though. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. Of course, you would be the kind of man who would be into that from another woman, I guess. But yeah, just like the first game, I really like this one. Well, the way they improved some of the mechanics to allow more investigations and made things less drawn out made it a little more interesting. It's time to, to begin our quest of the World Circus Domination Tour and to let the world know how serious you are. I plan to make a famous something. Hey, Max, what do you think Zimbabwe is like? Do you think there are castles made of cake and bunnies who can talk? Oh, dear. I think if there are any talking bunnies, even they won't laugh at most jokes. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you're right. At least everybody knows his jokes are terrible. Thank God everybody knows that. Except for Maya, apparently. Which is a shame. Only a couple were all right, though. I'm ready, I'm ready. There's no way these jokes are gonna fall in deaf ears. Oh, God. I'm gonna be more contemporary with my humor. No girls <laughs> represent. We got a new act all worked out. Prepare for the Hallelujah Chorus. Stay silly, will you? You're supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Oh, 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 God. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I guess they're not gonna change. They're a circus. The circus people are always freaks to me. They always will be. But well, at least all the people we helped to the end ended up being happy for the most part. What's this? It's just an ordinary electric razor we tried to understand. I can't believe this. Really? How long did they plan on making me do this? Oh my god, you still like going around? Ah, uh, but it's Eddie idea, so that means it must have a deep hidden meaning. But, what I get the feeling, they wouldn't forget about me, would they? It was never like this in the old days. Everyone thought the world of me. They used to call me Queen Wendy. And people like royalty, they really were nervous. It's going to be a made of my helium. It's going to be the parents. Being a bird. Playing the lions are dangerous because of that. They're the warehouse where the citizens are going to the brothers of the huge stick that. Okay, shut up, old bag. Well, I guess we didn't remember everybody. But, you know, for the most part, all of our friends and companions, everybody's got a happy ending for them. Especially even Adrian Andrews. I appreciate everything you did, you and Mr. Edward did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Miss Ron Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. I'm really thankful to have met everyone. Oh, wow. Von Karma's even helping her. That's nice of Von Karma. Wow. So she actually does have a heart? That's... Well, then again, I guess at the end, she realized something about that. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. May we both be blessed with longevity. Now die you! Get on my webpage! Did he kill him? How did he do that? Damn, dude, he really is good. He can hack technology like a friggin' two-way radio? Yo, that's great murder technology he has in his possession, whatever that is. But well, boy, and then there's one final scene. We gotta check one last thing. The international departures. Here. At the airport? Where are you going, Francisca? How did you know I was here? With this. That's... Oh, she still has a coat on her, doesn't she? I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. Huh. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage, but it's going to the trash, I promise you that. Hmm, nostalgia for you, maybe. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that, man, you told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from the, from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, sir. That's right. Four things? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? Hmm, it doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. That it is. But still, people would want to know. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Karma's daughter. I guess it is a hard pressure on you, Francisca. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win, no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But, but me, I'm no genius. I've always known that. You say that, but... But I, I had to be the one. I had to. You say that. 
You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I'd even throw my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? That's right. I think it's extra cutscene when you do this. I think. I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always, you've always let me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. I see. And then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. Oh, if I can win against that man, if I can make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. So to stay above him, that was her goal. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? Huh! Today, you chased after me, after I'd left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. Damn, deep. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you're going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, well, then this is where we part ways, Francisca von Karma. Well, Francis- Whoa! Is she crying? I- I am Francisca von Karma! Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever! Our battle begins now! So you had better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth! My god! Steven, she is a fucking heart! God damn! Man! Poor Francisca! She's gotten to learn the hard way! Phoenix Wright! One day, someday, I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. Oh, got that glare! Until then, this last piece of evidence that never made it to you, I'll take good care of this fourth piece so I could give it to you when at last we meet again. Yeah, I wonder if we will ever meet again and you actually give it to me. Yeah, I wonder about that. But the last piece of evidence. Oh, Maya. I guess she did that to inspire hope in herself, knowing that I've come to rescue her. How sweet. And that was the last piece of evidence. That would have helped anything. That would just make me look goofy. Just saying. Make me look ridiculous. But yep, Francisca's left to go back on her world tour, I guess, or go back to Germany, whatever. But yep, with that, that's the end of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Which, well, it would continue still. You would be able to start off for the very last uh, trial. And I created a save point before, after my uh, big decision, quote-unquote, that didn't mean anything, the uh, philosophical thing. But yep, with that, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Justice for All is finally done, and everything has been resolved. Pretty much. But yeah, thank you all for watching. It's been a very, very long set of trials. But, well, we finally persevered, and well... I guess I can finally give my final thoughts of the game, which, well, I really like it. I mean, some people might feel like it may not be as good as the original Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney because, well, it's more of the same, and, well, the cases don't really feel that interesting except for the last one and the first one. Oh, no, I really like the circus case despite the characters being complete jackasses. The second case, though, I mean, just remember that, well, development... There were some story elements taken of the first game that were necessary for this game, and well, some of the build-up is pretty nice, and well, I'll say, the last case from this game is like one of my personal favorites, because it freaking throws for a loop and actually gets you to actually think to yourself, I've been, and maybe I was blindly fighting for those not guilty verdicts all along, and not actually fighting for what was right, you know? It's actually a really interesting case, that one, I really like it. And work for the story elements that we'll have in the next game, it probably would be my absolute favorite case. But, well, we've truly gotten justice for everyone by the end of that one. It kind of is 
saying that, well, everybody got their comeuppance that deserved it, and everybody got to learn from their mistakes, I suppose. Man, this game's really fun! Like I said, you need to, if you like these Phoenix Wright games, go out and get the trilogy. I mean, the console versions are good and all, I just, I don't know, I still feel like they're best at home on a DS or 3DS, because, I oh don't know, consoles, it doesn't feel right to me. This natural home is a handheld. And I don't mean you can pick up the Switch version. I'm just saying, this feels natural in the handheld itself. But either way, I love these games. Their writing is very good for the most part. Some cases are ridiculous and some things don't make sense. But you know, that comes with the territory of trying to come up with a crazy narrative game like this that had to have puzzle elements like the Trials. You're gonna stumble a couple times, but for the most part, this game shines in its writing, and I really enjoy it. It gets you thinking a lot of times. It got to the point where I actually struggled a couple times not remembering things. But well, for some this is the weakest of the main trilogy, but you know, I personally like it more than the original games. The original one drags a little bit. This one has a little more meat to it, and I like it for that reason. But on this episode here, so thank you all for watching once again, and uh, well, I know what my next Let's Play is going to be, and well, it's another continued pattern of my marathons for this channel, so... I'm going to be doing another one, another game of franchise I've worked on before. And, uh, well, maybe next year we'll finally tackle the last game of the trilogy, Trials and Tribulations. Just maybe. Because, well, most people say the third game is the best of the trilogy. And, you know, the exception of one case, I agree. Yes. Well, no, it's two cases in particular, three cases in particular that really make this game shine. The other two are alright, but... Three of them in this game? Oh, hell yeah! This game is awesome! The last one is like the peak of the writing for the Ace Attorney franchise so far. It's really good. And well, just like the second game being wrong on the first, this third game has some stuff from Lion on the previous two as well. So, it really is proper for me to go through all these in order. So, I hope I encourage people to go read this up themselves, because, well, I can admit watching somebody go through this is basically like reading a book. Or an, and listening to an audiobook that goes off tangents, but... The series is really good, and I really like it! I'm looking forward to whatever the 7th main Blind Phoenix Wright game is going to be. I really am. So, until I see you guys again... Well, take care, and be sure to check out my channel for other stuff, as well as my friends and our co-op channel, The Lazy Dreamers. Take care, everybody! And, uh, please don't commit murder. For the love of God, don't commit murder. You've already seen the crazy shit that can go down if you do. It's ready to try to cover it up. For all you know, an assassin will come back and haunt your dreams. Don't kill anybody.